Welcome! This is a brief video about the OpenMaint 2.2 new features. First of all, I will discuss preventive maintenance, improvements on operativity and functionalities. We have included the interactive Gantt to plan and schedule preventive maintenance activities. Moreover, now it is possible to reschedule maintenance according to delays or advances. We have integrated the cost and warehouse management also for the preventive maintenances. Then uh, we have added the possibility to uh, set not only a start but also an end for the validity of the range of the maintenance configurations. Also, uh, the bulk set and the checklist management has been improved in order to be quick, easier and fast. At the end, also the checklist order can now be configured. But let's have a look directly from the web interface. Here, you can see the preventive main planner, where you can have all the configurations uh, grouped by building, and you can collapse, uh, or also you can filter here, uh, for example, according to uh, global search or maybe by team it depends on it depends on you moreover you can navigate and browse by using the mouse so moving in time and also zoom in or zoom out as I'm doing with the control key of the keyboard and you can see the green area is the ones that tells you in which period these maintenance configurations is valid and the gray here is the ones that are inactivated, not active. Moreover, you have uh, an overview of the executed and the aborted processes. A quick help is available here that uh, explains you uh, the main configurations. Moreover, I can also access the information of a specific process instance and uh, I can decide as in this case where I have the monthly inspection and the weekly inspection for example to participate one event simply by drag and drop it and uh, then after the system asks me if I'm sure I can save and now the event has been moved forward now it is shorter because we don't have the weekends in the middle so this basically it's uh, an uh, the the Gantt interactive module. Of course, let's jump to the process to have a quick view of the uh, new bulk edit. You are get used to this standard um, interface. And so here you have all your events. Uh, so let's take, for example, one of these. You have uh, here the list of activities when you start the event you can decide to uh, the team has to complete it so now we have improved this checklist by grouping each activity for each device so it will be easier maybe i am on the first one i can say everything's fine then i change to the other and there is also an, a non-detectable uh, option for maybe uh, to allow the, to skip one activity and maybe also the note to note it why I cannot do it and uh, the note will be stored and will be available if I save it yes now you can see there is one note here and I can add as many notes as I can. Why not, for example, and so to list everything. If I'm happy, you know that I can complete the event and set an outcome. But as you know, the system prevents to conclude an activity without all the checklist performed. And now there is the bulk set that can help me to fulfill everything, for example, 
setting a value for each kind of possible activity, for example, checks to positive, jobs to done, and measure to uh, OK. And to do this only for the current element, so for example, for this one, or I can perform it for any possible element, of course, only for the not already performed ones. So I change here all elements, I apply, and then I'm able to conclude the activity. <coughs> but let's have a look to other uh, main features that we have introduced. Let me go back here. Functionalities. We have added furthermore functionalities. For example, a calendar module to manage sites, employees, teams, and also CI's uh, service status. A global search that allows you to search anything across all the cards in your database. Automatic uh, notifications, but in this case related to maintenance processes processes corrective or preventive according to the due dates or the SLA, so the service level agreement. A new context, as me context menu for digital invoice file import and also for QR code generator for all the CIs. Then there is a self-configuration for CIs location according to the map position and vice versa. <coughs> and then uh, link, we have linked the, the replies to the emails that are um, sent through the, the system. The reply will be automatically related to the process, so you can have all the conversations within the same, available on the same card or process in this case. Let's have a look on the interface. <coughs> so, here you can find under the configurations a basic default calendar where we have configured not only the specific holidays like the New Year's, the Easter Monday or Sunday and so on, the New Year, but also the operativity for each day. And you can do it for any of your um, of your uh, card so can be a site can be an employee can be a team and uh, if you go for example here you have a service status overview about uh, everything and for example if i run it uh, it can show me for example the availability in each specific uh, period of time here is the current month but i can for example decide to display a uh, different interval for example the beginning of today print and i can see now that we have started in this we are available here <coughs> moreover we have added here the global search so for example i can find look for check and press enter and the system will scan alongside all the database and show me here all the results i can have a look to any of those and if i'm happy with that i can also jump to that card to see it directly where it is stored <coughs> moreover let's have an example of uh, an uh, invoice import we have also included uh, it in the financial management accounting if i have uh, an xml invoice for example directly from here now i have no items but <coughs> i can import an invoice let me check for an uh, a sample invoice uh, here if i load it this is, has been success, I can have all the data in the XML files and also the details <coughs> of any row in this invoice. So bring it directly into the system. 
and uh, let me show you also the context menu for the QR code generator, uh, generation so if I am for example on an asset uh, let's go and take for example a device I have uh, an option here to generate the QR code based on which options I want so maybe the description or the serial number I can change them according to my needs but I can also decide to <coughs> print many QR codes for many assets and so then maybe print them and uh, maybe attach to each of those assets now let's have a look at two other functionalities of the system that we have included some general improvements so further extensions and developments we have uh, uh, created a lot of CIs in terms of plant systems assets and so on so we have uh, improved the structure and the model. We have an assignee field on the maintenance processes in order to, for example, assign a maintenance uh, a process not only to a team, but also to a specific person or operator. We have included also new reports and dashboards as the one that I show you regarding the service status. And uh, we have uh, additional fields on the consumable class that was really simple, but now we have extended it. And uh, the import DVG uh, pre-configuration to bring into the system DVG informations uh, from the DVG files, uh, like a CAD file. Uh, then we have a Modbus management uh, for an automatical synchronization and reading of uh, meters and sensors. Then also we have extended the mobile experience uh, so that uh, we have customized the layout in order to make it uh, more uh, easy and uh, the performance uh, and, and the feeling of the operator it be will be better. Let's have a look. So here you can see from there that we have uh, many uh, with updated many classes so plans systems uh, of uh, any kind and also a lot of devices and for any any of those it is possible to define a specific type so we have a, a huge amount of uh, possible detail information that can be stored into OpenMint and then we have uh, new reports and dashboards for example here the CI summary that tells you the, for the condition of CIs this in general or maybe for a specific kind of site but not only the condition but also the state for example and here the last check date so you can monitor your uh, your stuff uh, then we have as I told you improved in the logistics the consumable class now we have added many type many many fields like the type the category the brand in order that you can specify uh, which kind of uh, consumable not only code and description you have in your warehouses we have also the modbus management for the sensor and meter reading of course in the energy management here where you can have the configuration you can store the configuration of which kind of readings you won't have to uh, to detect and here you have for example where you have to connect to the IP address, the unit ID, so the Modbus standard and to which asset this configuration has been related and then this will automatically, if you activate the reader, read these informations from your devices. So then all uh, the stuff, especially uh, concerning the maintenance processes, will be made available through an uh, adapted and ad hoc, uh, let's say, uh, standard interface from the mobile app. 
that can be available. So back here again. Thank you very much for um, for your attention and uh, goodbye.